this is the Harley Davidson 48 and um, it's actually the first Harley Davidson I ever had about six years ago when they first came out I bought one second hand um, it was six months old um, and I had uh, what did I have short shorts on it this one has got some Cobra um, what are they called they're speeds to 909 speeds to 909 they sound really nice actually they're not mega loud but they're very deep um, they pop when you throttle off and um, they look very neat and nice and fat so they're a lovely looking pipe as you said these have got the uh, Cobra Speeds the 909s and the idea with these is that they're slightly less um, loud so they're more baffled for a more of a deeper tone um, it's less harsh than say short shots from Martin Hines um, personally I don't think they're loud enough but they do make a nice sound. So on the road, it's a really nice bike to ride. It's very nimble and it feels really narrow because I'm used to the soft tail now. Um, and it changes direction easily. These tyres are lovely. They're quite fat, but they're not too tall. So you get good handling, you get good cornering. Um, it's a really easy bike to ride. 70 miles an hour feels quite stable, so you don't feel like it's skills all over the place. Um, it looks the business. I mean, you've got a nice position. I mean, to ride it, it feels nice. My hands are well forward, my feet are forward with the forward controls. People probably say it looks too small for me, but when you're on it, it doesn't feel small, it feels really nice. It feels kind of uh, something that you could throw around a little bit. Um, but what do I, do, how do I look, do you think? Does it look small on me? I think it looks too small, really. Yeah, well, as I say, I'm Especially from free, behind. So if you want to gauge how big uh, the bike is, um, six foot three, I mean, as I said, it feels roomy enough. You know, I'm not all crunched up like this. Um, it just probably doesn't look it, does it? No. I think the um, the Harley 883 Iron is a little bit of a bigger bike than this. Not by much, but because of the bigger wheels, it feels a little bit longer, a bit taller. Um, but this has got a fabulous look. I mean, it's a stylish bike, isn't it? Over the sort of first um, 48s, these have got um, slightly fatter forks. Um, they've also, um, unlike the iron, which has the horrible sort of rubber coiling around it, this is more of an exposed, um, I don't know what to call that bit, but it looks a lot nicer. Now, the original 48 had uh, spoke wheels, whereas this has got alloys. Um, they're quite nice alloys, to be honest, um, and you don't normally like alloys, and you quite like them. Yeah, I'd say I do prefer spoke wheels as a rule, um, but yeah, as I always go, I think these are really nice. On the road, um, it's the suspension's quite good, it soaks up the bumps quite well. Um, there's not a lot of travel on the back, but enough for the normal roads. Um, you know, it's, it's a faultless bike really, and out of the crate, it looks flipping nice. soft tail um, you probably only get about 70 miles out of a tank that's what you expect from a sportster the more sort of urban riding um, and they've got a nice new um, design tank this year um, everyone probably already knows about that because we're a bit late. the standard handlebars um, they're quite narrow but if you're riding in town in London in the cities um, if you're too wide you're not going to get down the middle of cars so from from that point of view it's good but um, you can get apes mini apes and be up to here a bit more so it's very versatile there's a lot you can do with a 48 but I mean it just looks so nice you've got the black and the chrome it really goes well together 
the speedo is well out in front so you don't have to look very far down to be able to see the speed you're doing in the revs whereas some of the Harleys they're further back so by the time you look at it you can't see the road ahead so this this is good if you're 19 and you wanted to get a Harley you can get this A2 restricted um, which makes it under 47 horsepower I believe um, I think these are about 67 uh, as, as they come so it's a bit of a restriction there whereas the iron is only restricted by about 2 horsepower so you won't really notice it but I'm sure you'd probably notice the difference with these They're always saying, oh, it's a, it's a girl's bike, you shouldn't be riding that, oh, it's too small for you. Um, but at the end of the day, it's a, a bike's a bike. I don't think it's a girl's bike. I mean, a girl can ride it, but um, there's nothing wrong with a boat riding it either. I think it's just their own little problem, really. With the 48, you've got the underslung mirrors, and practically that sh they are really good because uh, you see the road clearly behind you, whereas if you have them on top, your shoulders get in the way. So they're a good, actual, very good design, I like these. The Harley 48 comes with the 1200cc engine, V-twin engine, and it's got plenty of power. It's not massively powerful, but it's, it's got enough power and torque to be fun, but it's not so much that if you were a fairly new rider that you wouldn't find it a bit of a handful. Um, could it be your first bike? Well, once you've passed your test, um, I don't think the power is too much, but I mean, I, I would have, you know, as I say, when I was younger, I progressed through different trail bikes until uh, eventually bought a Harley. So probably it's better to go that route, maybe have a 250 for a year or so. Um, but the power is, the power is good, but it's not mental. Like all Harleys, you've got the um, little connector for the um, battery tenders. Okay, on this, um, the number plate's in the centre at the bottom of the rear fender. And uh, it doesn't look that bad, to be honest, because they're quite wide tyres. Um, if you had a smaller plate, it would look really neat. Um, but the plastic thing they've designed here is quite minimalistic, so that doesn't look bad at all, actually, does it? No, it's all right. That's all right. And the indicators are nice, they're a nice little bit of metal there and uh, pretty, a nice design, so they look good. Um, aesthetically, I think this is actually a very beautiful motorbike. Um, it's, it's just like a piece of art. Okay, on these um, you've got the uh, much better side stand compared to the new soft tail, so have a look down here. Um, I don't know why they can't put this on the soft tail, because it's nice and wide, it glides out easily, whereas on the new soft tails the end of the stand digs into the tarmac and then it kind of leans on the spring and then half the time you're going to drop the bike, so this you know it's on the stand, brilliant design, simple. Now I'm about 6'1", so it doesn't feel that big to me, but um, I'm used to an enduro, which is a lot sort of smaller and upright, so to me this is very low down, uh, much lower down than the iron. So we've got the adjustable suspension here on the rear, and these really nice alloy wheels.
Okay, so don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And please leave a comment below. We'd like to know what you think.